Welcome to Game Zone's Daily Roundup featuring some of yesterday's top stories. Super Mario Odyssey now stands as the Nintendo Switch's most anticipated game. The new hat powers, city hub, and levels appear to offer a plethora of new directions for the series. But apparently, the game is also doing away with its game over state. A post on the Japanese Super Mario Odyssey Twitter account confirmed this with a translation that reads, If Mario's health drops to zero, or if he falls down a bottomless pit, you'll lose 10 of your coins. But, no matter how many times you'll mess up, there's never a game over. Super Mario Odyssey releases exclusively on Nintendo Switch on October 27th. Cuphead is finally hitting the market soon. It's been in the works for a long time and had its release date pushed back many times, but now it's final, September 29th. With that, the official platforms have also been announced, and PlayStation 4 is not among them. Developers took to NeoGAF to discuss the matter. Yes, this Cuphead game is exclusive to Xbox and PC, with Steam and Windows 10 versions at launch and a GOG release likely shortly after. There will be likely a Mac version down the road and possibly a Linux version beyond that, unless we lose our houses or whatever. 343 Industries has made it clear that we won't be seeing Halo 6 for quite some time. However, Frank O'Connor, the franchise development director for the Halo franchise, teased that it will be a good week to be a Halo fan. O'Connor did not specify what will be happening in relation to the Halo franchise this week, but it's clear that something is happening. Of course, the tease has left fans asking for Halo 3 Anniversary Edition. 